Welcome once again to another edition of Duncan R2N's Wall of Games. Today we're going to focus on the PS3 section. Alright. So, starting out here, we start with 3D Dot Game Heroes, which, interestingly enough, I played last year and I liked it so much that I decided I needed to play. I had never played a Zelda game through and through. I had played them but never beat one. So as a result of enjoying this one so much, I actually played A Link to the Past, beat it, and it was one of my favorite games that I played last year. I loved the original Alice. That was a fantastic game, so it was a no-brainer when that one was released. Again, I've mentioned I'm going through and getting my Armored Core game, so there's my Armored Core for the PS3. The third of the art, Tonelico. And this is right here, quite possibly my favorite IP of this generation. I absolutely love the Assassin's Creed series. Um, two Atelier games on the PS3. I've got the, um, uh, I, I think there's the, the third one coming out fairly soon. Uh, Back to the Future. I'm not a big fan of download only, so when this came out, on disc uh, that again was a no-brainer and it was so cheap to buy uh, the retail I think was no more than 20 bucks so I figured I'd support you know given that I'm kind of anti download only games uh, if since they decided to actually give this guy a retail release I had to support that two Batman games are fantastic uh, picked up a couple of the battlefield games this was so cheap I haven't played it yet but I can't be as bad as the reviews say. Uh, Blaze Blue on down. I picked up Bioshock. I can't remember why. I'd already played it on the 360, but uh, I don't know. I guess there was some d additional content and stuff, and I picked it up, but I haven't played it yet. Uh, Brutal Le Legend, uh, that's one that I definitely want to play, just because I like the uh, Schaefer stuff. Uh, Burnout Paradise, Car Catherine, Cross Edge. Dante's Inferno looks kind of fun, uh, you know, God of War esque, if you you know. Um, Dark Siders, another more mature Zelda type game. I started playing that and then I got distracted and I need to get back to it. Um, Dark Souls, the sequel to Demon Souls, which I loved that game. That was a great game, Demon Souls that is. Dead Space was. It had its moments. It was nice and <laughs> nasty. Um, Dead Space 2, just, I opted obviously for the PS3 on this one because it had the uh, extraction packaged in with it. Uh, Demon Souls, I already mentioned, that's a fantastic game. I wish, wish that I had the actual extra, like the fancy version, but unfortunately I didn't get onto that game until it was too late. Devil May Cry 4, the Dirt releases, Disgaea 3 and 4. I think it's interesting that they're always re-releasing the Disgaea games, but I mean, whatever. Like they've had, they they seem to all migrate to the uh, handhelds. Dragon Age, I that, that was okay. I I I I, 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 I had issues with Dragon Age, but you know, uh, the release of Driver, Duke Nukem. I don't care what anybody says. I I I. I think it'll be a fun game. I haven't played it yet, but it got such bad reviews that when I picked it up, it was dirt cheap. Uh, I have an affinity for the Dynasty Warrior stuff, so here's all all that, including the t Gundam. I do need to get the Extreme Legends and Gundam 3. Uh, Oblivion on the PS3. I still haven't gotten Skyrim yet, and I eventually will. But uh, I was waiting for a like this, the Game of the Year edition, where it has everything. Uh, Enslaved, Eternal Sonata, and you know this was actually a pretty good game. I, I enjoyed this. I don't think it uh, it it did have its problems, and there were some things missing. Like no, I, I don't understand why they didn't really use any of the Final Fantasy themes, the Prelude or anything. They kind of dropped all that off and changed the the class names from what you're traditionally used to. But you know it was still a good game in and of its own right. It just was 
very different from the previous ones. Uh, folklore, uh, Genji, I'd mentioned I'd like the PS2 version, so this was, you know, I wanted to definitely get that. <clears throat> it's nice to have all of the God of War games on one platform. That will be huge. Um, Golden Axe Rangers, uh, the Grand Theft Autos. I liked all these games. They were, they were, you know, I know reviewers heart, are, are harsh on movie games, but I actually had fun with them. It was probably because I was doing them in a marathon and was playing them alongside uh, uh, the release of the last movie. So, uh, let's see, Hayes, Heavenly Sword, Heavy Rain. I need to finish this. I played that, but I need to finish it. Uh, Heavy Rain, that's going to be a time sink for me because I started playing it once just to try it out. And like three hours later, I was like, holy crap. Um, Hyperdimension Neptunia, this one just came out and I was very sad because I have the... I think I have every single NIS collector's edition release that they've put out, and I missed this one because I pre-ordered it too late and was already sold out, so I'm very sad about that. Uh, I go Shadow of the Colossus, Hulk, Infamous, Great Games, Iron Man, Katamari, the Killzone games, uh, L.A. Noir. I liked this, and I'd love to see more of this style, you know, like a... Maybe a Streets of San Francisco one, or a, a, you know, I don't know, Chicago Prohibition era. You know, something something along those lines where they, they take that concept and you're a cop and you do, you know, whatever. Um, and I like that there was, he wasn't like a corrupt cop, so that was that was good. Lair, kind of like the Rogue, Rogue Squadron with dragons. Uh, Last Rebellion, Spyro, the... Oh, I think this was the last Spyro before the Skylanders thing. Lego Harry Potter, Lego games, those are always good. Little Big Planet. Um, I can't even say that. Meijin and the Forsaken Kingdom. The last Medal of Honor release. Down to here. Metal Gear Solid 4. That was a solid game. Mirror's Edge, I absolutely loved it. Uh, probably one of the few who did, but I would love to see a Mirror's Edge 2. Um, Motorstorm. Uh, I really like those those games. I need to get the Apocalypse. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, NHL, I don't play much sports games, but those have wound their way into my library. I'd actually like to get 9 and <clears throat> 11 as well. Nier looked interesting, but I haven't played it yet. Everybody knows what Ninja Gaiden is. Uh, the Overlord games, PlayStation Move Heroes, Portal 2, that was a solid game. Um, it it got a, it dragged a little bit in the middle for me, but overall it was a really fantastic, fun game. All the Prince of Persians that were released on the PS3 prototype, Ratchet and Clank. I actually wanted this was only released on um, for as DLC, but as I mentioned, I don't like DLC, so I ordered that uh, in from the this is the PAL release, so. They actually got a retail release on that, and now I have it in my collection. Uh, Record of uh, Ag Agarest War Zero, the sequel to the one on the on the 360 that I have on the 360. Red Dead, loved it. Need to get the last Red Faction. Resist uh, Resident Evil Resistance. Um, I, I heard a lot of good things about this, and I just I haven't played it yet, but it it's one that I definitely like too. Bridge Racer, I mentioned before, I've got I didn't actually pay $59.99. I got this when CompUSA was going out of business before I even had a PS3. And it uh, I didn't realize I had the sticker. I haven't even cracked the plastic on that, but I got it for I don't know, it was dirt cheap, whatever it was. Um, Born Saboteur, Sacred 2, The Shoot, <clears throat> The Skate, I need to get Skate 3, SOCOM 4. I picked up the uh, bundle with that one. Genesis, because I'm never going to be able to get all the Genesis games, so I figured I'd get that, and one day, maybe, <laughs> uh, go back in time and start picking up all the Genesis titles. Uh, Soul Calibur, Sports Champion to go along with the Move, and Star Ocean. And we'll pause right there.